everyone, my name is Maria Rybakova and this is the third episode of the show Events of the Round on the EuroLeague YouTube channel. I would like to remind you that we only broadcast because of your support. That is why we want to thank everyone who took part in the fundraising for the show. Guys, you are just amazing. Today we sum up the results of the seventh season of the EuroLeague. In the description of this video you will find a link where you can make a donation. Subscribe to our channel, click the like button and leave your comments and questions. The fight between Russian club Bete and Norwegian team Molde in the starting round proved to be decisive, determining the strongest team following the results of the season. Both teams had great membership by the start of the season. Molde even managed to gather all the stars, clearly aiming at preparing Norwegian national team for the World Championship. Of course, and I think it's going to be a tough World Cup, but we're going for gold this year as well. The first dangerous moment occurs near Norwegian basket. Alexey Pryazhnikov and Jim Hornbeck counter-attack, but Betas finish forward does not manage to receive a pass. So the moment's gone. Beta misses the first goal following a mistake, while moving from defense to attack, Vertia Leonin gives an inaccurate pass to Ilya Asorov. Ivor Bjornerem intercepts the ball and faces the goalkeeper one-on-one. -on -one. In such situation, Ivor always scores. During the first half, the Russians miss one more counterattack. But in the fight between Alexander Bakanov and Ivor Bjornerem, the victory is on the side of the former. The outcome of the first time is 1-0 in Moldy's favor. The second half starts with Norwegian team handling the ball first. Yasmin Dervikshevich gives a great pass having taken over three better plays, but Trond Helge Lilevik misses an excellent opportunity to increase the advantage of his team. The second half goes in an equal fight. A minute before the end of the match, Moldis plays steadily, attack and hold the ball firmly. Better uses all their forces in an attempt to grab the ball and counterattack. However, they don't manage to do so, and as during the first half, Ivor Bjornerem is one on one with the goalkeeper and his course. In Helsinki, Molde beat German Malsch and Danish Tutserna. We have already told you about these matches in the first episode. This success was the key to another champion's title of the Norwegian team. The second round of the season took place in Germany. The champions fought with Danish team Flippa. Victory in this match would practically grant the champions title to Mölde and the last round would be like a pleasant walk for them. A combat between the forward of both Molde and the national team of Denmark, Christian Schaffer, with his former club, was a vivid moment of the match. Flippers players win the start of the match, but right after that they make an unfortunate mistake and miss a goal into the empty basket. Molde reinforces its success in the middle of the first half with two goals. Even Bjornerem and Christian Schaffer stand out in a similar situation. Both times Molde manages to push through a well-organized defense of the Danish. At the end of the first half, Christian scores twice, so the score is 4-0. The second half goes in an equal fight, but Flippe still cannot score a goal. In the middle of the second half, the score becomes slashing 5-0 in Molde's favor. The goal was scored by a substitute Matthias Baston. After that, Flippe, as typical of them, starts to play in a clearly rude manner and provokes the opponents to fight. Danish captain Mikkel Rasmussen and then Ivern Bjornerem are sent off and this eases the tension a bit, but not for long. 
By the end of the match, there are three more displays in the penalty box. All in good mood, because the Danish can't score, so Norwegian team wins again. Following the results of the season, Norwegian club Mölde wins the main prize of the European Underwater Rugby League. Semyonov's Cup for the sixth time. Russian club Bete is second in the standings for the second year in a row. And Danish club Tutserna is the third. The clubs have the same amount of points scored, but Moscow club is higher in the tables because of the victory in a personal confrontation in the final match of the season. Landslide Moldy's victories in the final round in Copenhagen allowed its players, Iver Björneram and Bud Peterson, to win the prizes of the most valuable players of the league. Iver scored three goals in the match against Team Polisson, two during the game and one with the penalty. In the next game with Malmo, Bart Peterson made two assists to Christian Schaffer and Ger Magnus Strand. And Iver Björnerem scored four goals. First with the penalty against Sebastian Brandstorm, then in a counter-attack with one-on-one, -on -one, and finally to an open basket at the end of the match. In the final match of the season in the Norwegian derby against Egersund, Iver scored six goals to everyone's taste. The results of these incessant rows of goals, Iver Björnerem is goals and points leader. He scored 22 goals and made 11 assists, which gave him a total of 33 points. Bart Peterson is the best assistant with 12 assists. My name is Maria Rybakova and these were the most exciting events of the seventh season of the EuroLeague. In the description of this video you will find a link where you can make a donation. Guys, together we can make underwater rugby exciting and more popular. Subscribe to our channel, click the like button and leave your comments and questions. See you later. Bye.